Hello, I'm Gamir and welcome to another Terhar Pro video. In this video I will show you a little unboxing of my new phone, my very newly acquired phone. This is the current one that I was using. Uh, if you wonder about the Galaxy Note 9 I had, well, it got stolen. This one uh, that I had, uh, I only have the box obviously, but yeah. Here's the email numbers because I don't, <laughs> I honestly just don't care. And they never got to recover the phone, so and that was unfortunate. So I went on my hunt to get a new one. Now, um, I used to have another Note 9, uh, an A50, you know, I have multiple phones. I had an S9 used as well. They were all used, they were all used phones. And the Note 9 that I got used as well, the second one, not the, not this one, because this one I did got it new. Then it, what happened is that since it was used, it was also opened. And then when I got into water, underwater with the phone and everything, I thought it was never opened, but it was actually opened. So water got inside and it got water damage, unfortunately. This was a, such a great phone. I will still use it if I had it today. If I had the one that I, that got stolen from me, I will still use it. No problem. It's a great phone still. But I had to get a new one. And a new one it is. I saved a lot of money to get this one. I paid uh, 950 bucks. And I had to negotiate the price even. Because it was higher than that. But... Here we are, No 20 Ultra, um, the, it has the seals and everything, so you know it's legit. I haven't opened it in store because I know, since, I mean, it has warranty anyway, so I could just complain about it. Oh, and about the A50, I mean, not 50, this is the A21, not the A21S, this one is the US exclusive A21. I have been using it for like five months already, and it has been fine. I mean, it's it's all right, but remember, it's a low-end phone, so it doesn't look like it, but it is. It has a MediaTek chip and it runs really slow. Three gigabytes of RAM, not enough. Thirty-two gigabyte of storage. I had to buy a micro SD card to expand it. One hundred twenty-eight. So hopefully this one won't be an issue because it has 258, which means this is the Exynos version. Unfortunately, the Exynos variant is being sold in my country rather than the Note 9, which, well, and the S9 as well, were sold the Snapdragon variant. But now, well, it's not no longer the case. They went back to Exynos in my region. But I don't care, to be honest. I'm not going... If I wanted the fastest phone ever, I would not buy a Samsung. Mm. Alright, you know it's legit when it is really hard to break the seal when it's not when I'm not using something actually suitable. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks way better in person, and it feels so nice. It doesn't feel like the Note Nine when when you could feel like the separation because the phone was very thick. Uh, this one just feels like one 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 continuous wrap. I have to remove the plastic though, but whoo, oh man, this is looking pretty good so far. Woo! I, I got the bronze color because obviously it's the color of that they advertise and also because it has that frosted back. I really wanted to try a frosted back phone. Uh, this is the instructions and the SIM instruction tool. Just some books. It doesn't come with a case like the Note 9 from this region. The, the Note 9 from this region used to come with a case, a transparent one, and it was alright. I used it. But, well, looks like I'll have to use it without a case. 
maybe I wouldn't need to worry much about because I don't drop my phones. I mean, I had this for five months. This, this phone doesn't have any Gorilla Glass and it is it still looks impeccable. Like mm, only a little scratches on the corners, which is just better because it's, the back is plastic. This is just a cover and includes the five, I mean, 25 watt charger. Uh, I still dislike it's freaking Apple. Thanks for making the new trend of removing the charger from the box. Samsung just did it right after they mocked Apple for it. God damn, Samsung always does that nonsense, always. Oh my goodness, there's an advantage of having this Exynos variant. Um, it comes with the headphones. I saw so many Note 20 unboxings that didn't come with the headphones. This one comes with it. Of course, it has to be Type-C because they removed the headphone jack. Do you see any headphone jack in this? No, 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 no headphone jack. Another thing that I also complain is the Note 10 Plus. But, well, what can we do about it? At least the mid-range still have it. This one has the headphone jack. And I got the Galaxy Buds Plus anyways. And I did not do an unboxing of this because the I, it was a very uncomfortable area and the video was too short as well so maybe I could just be like you know what I'm just going to use setting stuff to be an unboxing and that's it. Uh, they sound really good though compared to the first bots they sound better and last longer. That's about it. I really like this design. The bots life suck as the bots plus I mean the bots 2 I don't like the design, but I haven't tried it yet, so people say it sounds alright, uh, who knows. Uh, yeah, headphones. I'm going to leave these two. I'm going to leave the headphones in the box, I don't actually need them. I, I might use it, okay, don't worry, okay, Samsung, if you're hearing this, I will use the headphones in the box. Keep them in the box. Keep the charger as well, please. You remove the headphone jack, keep some headphones to use at least, okay? Man, this this brick feels heavy. This actually feels heavier than the usual ones. This is the part where we remove the wrap. You know, it has to feel good, it has to feel nice. ASMR and all that nonsense, you know? Look at this. Look at this, man. It's out of focus. Come on, Galaxy S6 Active, which I replaced the battery because the one that it was originally was so... F Ooh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to use it. Well, I also have to remove the plastic from the sides. This plastic over here on the bottom. Some people forget to remove the, the plastic. Look at that. Look at that frame, man. Some people say that it is uh, made out of uh, stainless steel. Obviously, that's a lie. This is actually made of aluminum, like always. They just made it shiny. That's all. There's no way this is made out of uh, stainless steel. Samsung never use stainless steel on their phones. Only on their watches, but not on their phones. Doesn't mean they, they're just somehow just start using on their phones like oh yeah let's just be just like apple <laughs> well they are actually being apple man this phone holy moly and it feels so freaking good to hold comes with a screen protector this is actually a screen protector this is not uh one of those uh protectors that you have to peel off no 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 this is actual screen protector it's under the fingerprint scanner and everything but I'm very tempted to remove it because I don't like screen protector this one is a plastic one especially this is a plastic screen protector and I don't like those someone sent me a message let's see oh awesome I'm glad you got it oh yes yes let's turn it on oh yes they did no 20 ultra mm -hmm. This is the good shit right here, man. I cannot wait to use the ultra zoom camera and the 120 hertz. Oh man, the, the iPhone uh, 14 just got that feature recently. They they always behind. They always behind. Samsung already had 120 hertz displays. 
No, even other uh, Android manufacturer had it way before. I'm going to keep the um, OS in English. 120 hours. Oh my God, so freaking small. Oh man, look at the fucking smoothness. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep it on English because I want to use the OS in English now. Uh, since some apps like to use the auto language detection feature and they put me a, a freaking bad Spanish translation of the app. Oh man, the, 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 the haptics! The haptics! I miss that so much! But since this is the... Uh, since the Note 10, they supposedly have improved it to the point that it is like level... Uh, Apple level of haptic feedback. We'll have to see about that one, but yeah, mid-range phones do not have that haptic feedback when using the keyboard. That's really unfortunate. The S Pen. Now, supposedly this S Pen is the exact same as the Note 10 S Pen. The only thing that's different is that on the Note 20 Ultra, you have low latency because it has that 120Hz display width. I think it was 240 hertz uh, touch sample rate, that's what supposedly they said. Oh, man. The back, oh man. That frosted glass. Okay, it is so grippy as well. Unlike, you know, either shiny plastic or shiny glass. Curved edges on the freaking screen, I hate that. Okay, I hate curved screens. The, the curve display, I hate those type of stuff, but oh well, if I want to get a flagship, uh, I got, it gotta be one with, it, with one of those. Like, look at this. At least they could make it like the S20 series. It was less curve, but uh, well, they just copy and paste the Note 10 design and put a big old camera on the back. And has smaller bezels than your usual iPhones, even the new ones. Um, all right, all right. Uh, I have to confirm from an S8, A21, not the Note 9. Uh, that Note 9 got wear damage. I don't have it no more. Let's test the zoom camera. That's all I want to know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Jeez. Jeez. It is so good. Ah, tell me to stabilize. Okay, let's stabilize. Click on the preview, whatever, and then there's the ultra wide. Uh, that's really cool. Um, oh yeah, it's past some of my settings. Oh, oh, oh my, oh, so fucking smart. They got them 120 hertz so good. And people, and people say, and people say, it is a gimmick, it is a gimmick, it is a gimmick. No, it is not a gimmick. It looks so fucking good. Look at that shit, man. I mean, it looks better on, on person because obviously I'm recording a video at 60 frames while well, it's stuttering a bit, but that's because it's configuring stuff. Yeah, it's still transferring files and stuff. So that's about it for now. Oh, always oh, on display. I missed that. I missed that freaking thing. Fingerprint scanner, yeah, seems to work really fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's about it. No 20 Ultra unboxing and setup. Well, well uh, I, I might not even do a review because I'm I don't care, man. It's the best Galaxy Note yet because there's no other Note 